Okay. Uh, English language teaching has been a subject in academic institution in 20th century. Academic institution, that means English language included in the courses all over the universities in 20th century. But the scenario was not like that. How does this situation create? How? And in which way? In which context? English language started its journey to be an academic subject. We are going to discuss that history. Yeah, what is the history? And that is, we will be analyzing the situation or the factors which have promoted the innovation of ELT. Innovation that means getting new entity, getting new identification, the getting new requirements, the getting new prescription for English language teaching. In many countries, they, if they say that, yeah, we will not teach English, they can say so. But English language teaching, it is not a requirement nowadays. It is not a fashion. It is required that we have to learn English language. Why? How many multinational companies are there in Bangladesh? Oh, let, I can ask you in a different way. How many billionaires are there in Bangladesh at present? Approximately more than 50 billionaires. And they are the owner of multinational companies. And multinational companies, at least they have, Bixemko Group have had 36 wings. Yeah. So in such a way, every country nowadays has been the sister concern, so many sister concerns, from medicine to pharmaceutics, including the other things. Okay. So in order to make international business, in order to make international tourism, in order to make higher education, in order to how many people of Bangladesh at present living abroad? Do you have any idea? According to the statistics, one crore thirty lakh. They are, they are, they are documented. But if you include the undocumented, yesterday there was a riot in a country that this 450 people, they had been working over there and they are not getting salary. They are not documented. So if we get that the total, nearly two crore people of Bangladesh, they are living abroad for various regions, okay? So for international tourism, for international immigration, for international business, education, oneke bolben je onek to billionaire hoye gese millionaire shonka to sarjigesh kollen na. So so many millionaire are there. Tadher hoteche ek to hachi kashi dilei tadher Singapore Mount Elizabeth the hospital jete hoy. Why? And if you, it is actually there is a hierarchy psychology. Eh? Psychology there is a term hierarchy psychology. Whenever you will be feeling your basic requirements, basic requirements are you want to get the apartment, you want to get a cat side, a dress. That means that would be the next requirement. And next time will be the Shirajakun who is a body, Gadi Shamastiki, who is a body. Then they will say that what they will do. They have nothing to do. Okay. And for this reason, there, according to the hierarchy psychology, when a person will be fulfilling his or her basic requirements, they will go for the extra. Okay, so what I have said, it is not, I am not discarding, uh, disregarding the situation of going abroad. The going abroad, I am discussing that whenever you will be visiting Mount Elizabeth Hospital, that means you have to expose to a different language and different culture. And at that time, you have to know the language. So language learning or language teaching has become a necessity. Uh, it's not a fashion that yeah, I will be doing over the airport. Uh, I can uh, speak English or I can communicate with English. So, this is the situation we will be discussing today. What is the situation in which way English language has come in academia? Okay. And gradual development and innovations concerned to ELT due to many critics concerned how to teach foreign language. So, we have got in the discussion that English language teaching and learning is necessary. And when we thought that 
English language <coughs> teaching and learning is necessary, then the discussion comes how and in which way English language can be taught effectively. Okay, anything can be taught. A, B, C, D, Kori, Amra, Shikha, Singh, Kori. কিন্তু যখন দেখা গেল যে এত ম্যাসিভ পিপল এত ম্যাসিভ মানুষকে হচ্ছে ইংরেজি শিখাতে হবে দেন দ্য স্কলার স্টার্টেড টু টক দ্যাট হার এন্ড হুইচ ওয়ে ইউ হ্যাভ টু টিচ ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইফেক্টিভলি ওকে ওয়ান্স আপন এ টাইম আই ডিড এন্ড গেট আ জব ফর দ্য প্রোনাউন্সিয়েশন অফ আ সিঙ্গেল ওয়ার্ড দে সে দ্যাট হাউ ইজ দ্য প্রোনাউন্সিয়েশন অফ বি এ এস আই সি এবল বেসিক 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 and i didn't get the then i started studying uh, politics chronology <laughs> and i became a politics teacher yeah. that means whenever it was established that we have to learn english to make it possible that people could learn bhalo bhabe korte hoy then the researcher when the education is the academicians they started then in which way we can teach and learn english effectively they started to talk look here we are in the discussion that how english language became a subject at universities okay so that is the situation created many scholars changes in elt approaches and methods first time we have got the core word of our course eh? approaches and methods. in which way we will be teaching english language that is changes in elt approaches and methods occurred to understand how proficiency level of a learner needs to communicate orally or in written form whenever okay we have to teach english language effectively very effectively effectively in which perspectives in oral perspectives or in written perspectives that also came in discussion okay Which proficiency does a learner need? Oral proficiency or reading comprehension? All. All. Yeah. It will be varied. Not all. It will be varied. Suppose if anybody goes to Saudi Arabia for some tiny activities, odd activities, he or she shouldn't have the capability of reading, reading comprehension. Okay. he has to or she has to has the capability of oral communication just yes no thank you na ki jano ekta english e ache yes no yes no very good okay so that was the condition so in the 21st century english language included as an in academia and another thing the question comes gradually in which way effective which one we need that is oral or written or reading which one we needed so so many questions come in our mind in case of english language teaching that is elt kitig have also mentioned to change the theories of nature of language as well as the language learning and teaching so they started this questions and here kelly kelly it is the research of me i don't know whether he is he or she <laughs> Kelly or Howard, they mentioned that many current methods of language learning are derived from the older tradition. I told them that we have started teaching English language from ABCD. There is the older tradition. First time we we will be learning the alphabet. Eh? Then we will go for word. Then we will go for sentence. Then we will go for pairs of word. Then we will go for pairs of word. I forgot me. Phrases and idioms. But in now uh, at present curriculum there is no uh, uh, pairs of word. Question nine. Let's go. In the Amrish language, she gets. But many critics they said that yes, we have been researching for English language teaching or foreign language teaching. But many approaches and methods actually they are derived from the older method. Who is the older method? That is the phrase, idioms like that. Okay. And such kind of controversies hover. in the history of foreign language teaching and learning this is the scenario okay let's move on to the current scenarios of foreign language teaching and learning at present there are approximately uh, 200 countries